See some football. I got to see some football last week, so I'm going to bring everybody up to speed. I'm going to bring Kevin up to speed. You're going to bring me up to speed. You uh, were in Sydney, is that correct? I was in Sydney. You were in Fremont. No, I was. Not, it wasn't Fremont. It was, not was, was, it, was it raining in Sydney? Yes, it was. It was raining oh, no. crazy in Fremont. Nebraska. Fremont, Nebraska. That Fremont Dodge Lakes. Dodge County. Dodge County. Dodge County. The same. Very same. And five County. If you relicense place, that's Five County. And you, and you were in Fremont County, so. I was in Fremont County. Well, there you go. But I, was I was in the town of Dodge. I was in Fremont, and you were in Fremont County. Yeah, you were in the town of Dodge in Fremont County. Uh, that would have been quite sense, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> anyway, so you, you saw some football. I did. I was in Sydney. Fremont County. <laughs> I think people said this out. Would you, would they were playing Botna? They were playing Botna. That's the county seat of Fremont County, Sydney. Botna? City, no. City's the county. Oh. That's where courthouse is. <laughs> okay, the Bono was like, no. I have been gone a long time. You have. <laughs> no, I, I, I was in Sydney. I did, I did see the Sydney game. Um, 50 to 8. 50 to 8. Almost identical. Yeah, boys? Yes. Yes. Almost the identical score last year. Hmm. I think it was very, very similar. It might have been 50 to 8 last year. Um, and I know, you know, I think everybody's looking at it right now and saying, Wow, Bonham must be bad, but they're not. Right. I think Sydney's just really good. And Bonham's got a lot of talented kids. They, um, Jacob Tristan's got a pretty good arm uh, playing quarterback. He's playing quarterback. Quarterback, okay. Tristan's playing quarterback. He's got a pretty good arm. He's got a pretty good arm. He's reasonably fast. Johnny Wood's real fast. Um, oh, you should have seen Joseph I choose him. They couldn't block him. Oh, yeah? They couldn't block the him. The beast? He was. He was like, yo, look, Dan. No, no tackle. No tackle. Yes. And they couldn't stop him. They had a 20-pound no tackle. Yes, but by the time they by the time they get in blocking position, he'd be by him. Oh, yeah. yeah nice. He had like 10 tackles. He had those wrestling moves. He, he, he did. Ball. He did. He could change his... Uh, he could he go to the post office and change his mailing address to sit in his backfield. And those things <laughs> mail would reach him there. But um, it really was Sydney's day. Uh, Noah McKeever ran the ball. Four times for 80 yards, 30-yard touchdown in the process. Um, he threw he threw three or four passes. He threw a touchdown, a long touchdown to Mason Sheldon, a long touchdown to uh, Nick Shipley, who just outran everybody down the sidelines. They just have so many weapons. Yeah, yeah. So many weapons. Multi-talented. They, they are, and, they, and they, they started subbing. You know, it's Donnie Sears. They started, they started subbing, and, and they brought in uh, Brent Harach, the new kid from Albia. Mm-hmm. Um, Albania. Albania. Eastern European, Eastern European, Eastern European, yeah. European invader. Yeah, exactly. Um, he ran for he ran for a nice touchdown. Um, they uh, get Thorn for the touchdown. They put it away pretty early, or I mean, did they score early and often? Yeah. Or? Running clock started the second half. Really? Yeah. Wow. The running clock. I think it was. Uh, I think it was. F- it was upper thirties to nothing. Wow. The, first half. the dangerous one wasn't messing around. No. And it was fifty to nothing at one point. And then the defensive side. They called off the dogs. Yeah. Called off the dogs. They called off Donnie. Called off the dogs. Yeah. And he tends to do that. He's he all you know. He does. He he's not going to run it up. I don't think Bodna could have scored if he'd have chosen yeah. not to let him score. Yeah. Who scored for Bodna? Johnny Wood. Okay. Johnny was 55, 60 yard run, long run. He got it. He got the angle, got the corner, and now mm-hmm. ran everybody to the end zone. Definitely got some speed. He's fast. He's he's not big, but he's him and Shipley are both. They're both really, really fast. And yeah, and it bought, I just, well, you know, what it was is, I, I, I realized what Botna was up against during the introductions. They introduced Botna, and I'm listening to the names, and I was like, wow, I'm one good athlete after another. Mm-hmm. And they're saying their weights, and yeah, 140, 150, 160, 140, 150, 160. And, and but it was it was a yeah, it was a pretty good cast. Mm-hmm. And, and then they uh, um, Sydney comes in and they start announcing them. And their first lineman's two seventy. <laughs> their second lineman's two twenty. And their small lineman's about ninety. Yeah. yeah. And then they get to get uh, weight difference. Yeah. I, I mean, you get to the quarter, you get to know McKeever. He's buck eighty, buck eighty five. He's bigger than most every kid on mm-hmm. his team. And I mean, 
you know, they, I, I know the, the race doesn't always, the game doesn't always go to the, the biggest and the strongest and the fastest and the most deep, but that's usually the way to bet. Yeah, yeah. And it's a good place to start. You know, it just, that, that's really, that's really what it was. You know, and Botna had uh, 17, 18 kids. Sydney had 33. It's a small, it's a small crew for Sydney, but it's still 33. Right, right. And it was just, it was, it was inevitable, you know, about the war out a little bit, started having more, yeah. more trouble tackling. Yeah. So I heard that uh, um, the uh, Stan Velisca game was much more competitive than that. Oh, uh, it was. It was. Uh, the Stan Velisca game, well, you know, first of all, it was uh, Velisca's last and best chance to beat Stan in eight-man football. Never, never, never beaten him. Never beaten him, ever. In eight-man football. Really? Eight-man wow. Football. Uh, Here's a little trivia for you. There you go. And which goes back to for the corner conference, you know, what a decade. So it's not like ancient history, but they'd never beaten. Right. Never beaten Stanton. And it didn't start out well. Stanton got up to the early, early two score lead. Um, and uh, Marshall. Is it Greg or Jeff? Which one's left? Uh, Greg, I believe. Okay. It's Greg. I'm not positive. No, I believe. Jeff. Uh, it's Jeff? No, uh, whichever one. He plays quarterback for Stanton. All right. Right. Marsh, he's a really good athlete. Somebody call and tell us. And that's right. Or, or email and tell us, for that matter. But he carried 40, 42, 44 times for 290. Oh, wow. And a bunch of touchdowns. Um, and he was, you know, he was their main weapon. But after taking an early lead, Velisca came back. And Velisca was hooking up. Uh, they had Damon Sunderman at quarterback. And he was throwing to Jared Spinagle. Spinagle. Jared Spinagle caught eight passes, three touchdowns, 180 yards. Whoops. So they found a weakness in Stanton's defense. Yeah. Exploited yeah. it over old school East Mills style. Oh, yeah. well, East Mills used to do that every year. They yeah. find that we have the same play over and over and over. One guy. Yeah. You know, Exploit that back so fast. But yeah, Sunderman to Spinagle. And it, it seems like Velisk is getting over losing the world class wrecking crew led by Manly Shapansky. He <laughs> lost a graduation last year. Yeah, that darn graduation. It's always taking good Man- players, huh? Manly Shapansky, you know, I don't know how you, you recover from losing a kid like no. that. No. That name alone, that's hard to recover. Hardest hitter. Game. Well, hardest hitters <laughs> in the corner. But they did just fine. But um, then they were up 39-20 at one point, and Stanton came storming back and almost came back and won. So it was a really thrilling game in Stanton. 39-36. 39-36. Yeah. 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 Good game to start the season. Yeah, it was. That, that'll be a real good game to start the season. So they're one and all. They'll take out Sydney. They will. It was Friday night. Where's that going to be at? Melissa? Axe murder town. That's the capital of Iowa. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Have you noticed the graduating classes have been getting smaller and smaller? <laughs> I, I, I have not. They got their own system of justice <laughs> in Villisca. Um And let's see, who else played? Oh, Bud Corning, the poor Red Raiders. They had to go to, Tid- they had to, go to Tidal Town and take on Fremont Mills. Oh, yeah? In Tabor. Tabor. It was... Uh, 42 to nothing before Corning. Oh, really? scored, yeah. wow. So, well, FM uh, obviously hasn't dropped off that much, huh? Well, I mean, I think they had to have dropped off a little bit with, mm-hmm. with the kids they lost, but I mean, they still got Clayton Wilson. They still got arguably the best line anywhere in a Yeah. Football. They're so big and strong and uh, just going to run it. They're, they're Austin Switzer's a quarterback. He's a talented kid, mm-hmm. good athlete. And with that kind of blocking, you know, you don't have even have to really be a superstar, right? You know, to gain a lot of yards. But um, you know, the one thing is, I suppose if you're, it's FM, the, the defending champs. If you if you got to look for, got to look for. I don't want to say a negative, but like the one. You got a nitpick. You got a nitpick. They threw three times. Uh-huh. Completed did all three passes. Mm-hmm. One of them was for a touchdown. But yeah, on the flip side of that, though, they probably didn't have to throw. Why don't they up that much that right. early? We don't know. They got a brand new quarterback. We don't know if they right. really throw. Mm-hmm. Um, I could completely cut passes to Clayton Wilson right now in the <laughs> with my rag arm. And just throw it. Hey, Clayton, jump, you know, and throw it up. But um, that's not to say they can't. We just don't know. Don't know yet. We just don't know right. yet. Right. And um, they still physical. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Fantastic mm-hmm. football team. Uh, no surprise that they won. And they, um, FM goes this week. They go to uh, Whiting. They play Whiting. 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 You know what uh, the only thing the town of Whiting is, is known for? I know. It's not great football. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's not great football. It's not great football. 
Um, it's an incredibly small graduating class. is barely being able to field a team. But <laughs> are you familiar with the movie Children of the Corn? I am. Film there. Really? Whiting. Well, good for Whiting. Whiting. Good for Whiting. They have, uh, like, murderous little children on their own, apparently. Maybe Whiting should play Velisca. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> murderous little children would stand no chance against an axe murderer. There's only one. As far as you know. Yeah, that's true. And you got eight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there could have been more. That's true. For all, you, all we know. Yeah, Children of the Corn was, was filmed in two or three small towns south of Sioux City. That's the area they used. Wow. And Whiting was one of the main ones. There you so go. Who's heading the Whiting? Who's heading the Whiting Friday night? Not me. Kind of Not scary. this guy. He's scary. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta come out with corn. You're over eighteen. <laughs> now that's where FM goes this week. That 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 won't be. That won't be. That's not going to be. Yeah, that's not going to be competitive. Not at all. No, 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 no. Whiting lost to well. Whiting. 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 What are you saying? Like that? <laughs> you're, you're putting a lot of emphasis on the H. I'm cool and quick. <laughs> cool and quick. Um, Whiting lost to Charter Oak U week one. Charter Oak U. Week one, week one. They didn't win it all last year, and they lost to they lost to Charter Oak U in week one. <laughs> I don't think Charter Oak. Oh, come on, this <laughs> MDH. I don't even think Charter Oak. Won. I don't think Charter Oak won a game last year. Oh yeah, yeah. So they got one over Whiting. Whiting. We're good for the Fighting Utes. Ute. Right. Is that what Charter Oak? Ute? That is that the mascot. The Fighting about, Utes. About that, so. Oh, they're not like Utah Utes. No. Okay. Gotcha. Or Utes, as in Utes, pronounced by an East Coaster. Utes. Yeah. The two Utes. The two Utes. <laughs> What's a Ute? <laughs> what is a Ute? What is a Utah Ute? Uh, it's an Indian type of Indian. Uh-huh. Uh, or Native American. I'm sorry. Native sorry for that. Uh, your beehive. Racially insensitive. No, yeah. It was racially yeah. insensitive. It was not intentional. <laughs> no, it was not. not Native American. It's, right. it's a Native American tribe. It was native to Utah, which is right. Utah's named after. Beehive State. The Beehive State. Beehive. Yeah, it's the very same. There you go. The very same. Um, so who else played? Uh, Essex. 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 South Page played. Um, Lennox? Man, that's no. the, yeah, yeah Lennox. that's the heartbreaker right there. Um, I thought they might win. I thought they might beat Lennox, and they didn't. They lost 34 to 13. But the final score, the final score doesn't really tell the, the story of that game. Um, Essex was winning 13 to 12 mm-hmm. late in the third quarter. And then Lennox just became Lennox. Yeah. And um, a little bit of a run there. Pounded at home late in the game. But, I mean, Essex was right there. It was there. Essex South Page. ESP. I mm-hmm. say ESPN. Uh, ESP. Not ESPN. ESPN. <laughs> ESPN like, that's, hard, that's hard not to say it. Yeah, it really is when you get ESPN. I mean, here's a tough one. What does ESPN stand for? I don't... I, I heard it didn't stand for anything. It does. Once. Oh, no. It does and I know what it stands for. What? What is it? Uh, Entertainment and Sports Programming Network. Oh, well, there you go. ESPN. Entertainment and Sports Programming Network. Okay. There you go. It's something new every day. True story. All right. True story. Um, but the entertainment. That's why they, when people complain that they show like poker or stuff that isn't really a sport. Games. Yes. So little, little games. Right. Little party games. Like yeah. Bowling. Bowling. For example. Not a sport. Not a sport. Not a sport. And, uh, but yeah, entertainment and sports program. Okay. Network, so that's their catch all. Well, there you go. That's their catch all. It's kind of like in trivia when it's uh, sports, sports and entertainment. entertainment. Exactly. And I can zing you with the Mahjong question. Mm-hmm. Certainly. Or <laughs> chess. Or I like to play chess. Checkers. Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> it's not a sport. No, it really is not. No. It really does not take a lot of uh, athletic ability. None. Almost as much as NASCAR. Turn left. <laughs> Turn left. Um, but Essex was up 13-12. They, were, they led. They, they scored first, and then uh, it was 8-6 for a while, mm-hmm. and it was uh, 13-12 mm-hmm. for a long, long, long time. Was that one played in Essex? No, they played it in the Springs. They played it in the Springs. They did. Wow. They did. College Old Springs. Move. First uh, first game in College Springs, first varsity game in College Springs in over here. Oh, yeah? Play you, know, you know the most uh, memorable thing about going to a College Springs game, a night game in College Springs? Oh. Uh, the fact that you can't see anything. That's true. Yeah, have quite possibly the worst lights I've ever seen. I think they got new lights. <coughs> oh, really? I, Essex got new lights, too. Yeah. Both schools got new lights. I think so. Wow. I know Essex has new lights. They'll be playing lit up games then. I think College Springs got new lights because I car. Went to a game there a couple years ago. I remember it maybe being brighter. You know, I I, uh, I remember going there and saying, I think that everyone should pull up their cars close to the field, <laughs> turn on their car lights, their car headlights, and then your light up the skills should let feel loose. much better than the actual lights. Let loose thousands of fireflies. 
lightning bugs. Do you call them fireflies or lightning bugs? I, I call them both, but mostly fireflies. Or they could just put the glow sticks out. Creek or crick? Creek. See, I say crick. 